everyone. Welcome back to Spiritually Speaking. This is Lisa Maria, Psychic Medium. And I wanted to start um, doing some readings for like weekly readings with the tarot deck. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to ask for um, guidance on what's going on this week for everyone and what we should focus on. And I'm just going to lay out a basic three card reading for past, present, future. And then we'll see how it goes and see, um, see what comes up and see what spirit has to say. So bear with me. I'll be right back. I'm going to just ask for my spirit guides and the universe to connect so we can get answers for everyone. Okay? Hang in there. I'll be right back. Welcome to Spiritually Speaking Podcast. My goal is to teach you the elements of spirituality that will show you how to find your passion and purpose in life. I'm your host, Lisa Maria. So join me in another session of Spiritually Speaking. Okay, so as I was shuffling for these three cards, these four fell out of the deck, okay? When a card or cards fall out of the deck when shuffling, they have significant meaning. So that's why these four cards are here. For some reason, or for some, well, yeah, for some reason, these cards... These cards here are going to exacerbate on these cards, okay? So what I see here is for the week is that that everyone has a lot of choices going on, a lot of decisions. You don't know what decision what decisions to make. What should you do to reach your happiness, your divine being, okay? Ace of Cups is that we are being handed everything that we want to have the life that we want, okay? But we're not making the right decisions. We're not making the right choices. We're doing what we are programmed to do instead of what we truly know in our hearts to be the right thing to do. To do what you love to do, to share, to love one another, to treat each other with respect, okay? To appreciate, to be happy, to manifest what you truly want in your lives, okay? So this is saying wrong choices to get to where we want to be. This card, now don't get scared, it's the devil card. It's basically saying that you're chained to something, that's causing this. So if we don't change the way we are, the way we treat people, the way we think, we have to think more positive instead of being so negative about thinking. Okay? Now, this is saying that if we continue to make these wrong choices to get to our happiness we will consistently be chained to where we are right now. Now, let's go over here, okay? The Emperor and the Knight of Cups, okay? What I'm feeling here is that there's a, a father figure or a, um, a higher, a powerful figure. That's what this is, okay? That is not emotionally, you know what it's coming to me, honestly, is the president, <laughs> okay, that's, and this is not, this is emotions, and it's reversed, which says that it is not, um, not someone that I believe we should be listening to, because his emo he emotionally, I feel like he's bringing his personal feelings, instead of worrying about, um, and bear with me, I'm getting something here. He's bringing his personal feelings, his emotions into his career, which is not right because 
when you're president or somebody in a higher power figure, you can't be bringing your own shit from the past into it. You know what I mean? So down here, I have a, a Queen of Wands and Queen of Swords. Um, these are two women. And again, these are, I, I would say, middle, middle aged or up. Um, I feel like there's strength and um, power in a woman somewhere that's going to come and deal with this other man, powerful man. Okay, I don't know exactly. I feel like I feel an attorney. Okay, and again, I'm just getting president. This does not mean this could be for you in your life. Okay, for somebody else out there that is saying that there is two women that are going to come together and deal with this other powerful man figure. So this way you can get on with your life and make the right choices. So what we want to do is we want to get this, we want to reverse this, and we want to take this down. Okay? That's what we want. But unfortunately, it's like this. Okay? So, to sum it up, we have to make the right choices to get to what we want to do, what we want in our lives, so we aren't chained to our existing relationship with ourselves okay and again there's a, a man a higher powerful man that has some um, childish emotions that's what this is it's like a childish emotions and these two women right here are going to help overpower this man in your life okay so i hope this helps somewhere or somebody somehow Okay, um, just know that if you are getting this, re if you're watching this video, okay, know and trust and believe that these messages are for you. Because me doing this reading here for you guys is actually telling me something about myself as well. So this message, oh, and I just got chills big time. <laughs> so know that these are messages for you. I'm going to be doing these readings at least once a week or more, uh, depending, you know, what time, you know, time limitations I have. But I will be doing these readings. I eventually want to do them on a daily basis. So I'm trying to work it into my schedule where I can do at least one reading on a daily basis and give you a daily reading every day of what's going on and how you can help yourself with the, the guidance from spirit. Because trust me, people, these cards, what I'm telling you and anything I ever tell you when I do readings is not my personal opinion. Okay, what I tell you is directly from spirit. I am a medium as well. So just know that anything that I tell you is from spirit. It's not my personal opinions. And whatever comes through, I have to say. Because if I don't say what they're telling me, then I'm not doing my job. Okay, I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do for you because my job is to help you get past all the shit and karma and crap that we have been through in our lives, including the programming that we get from society, from commercials and TV and all the programming of what we are not told to believe or we're told not to believe or that's crazy anything anybody ever tells you something's crazy like this in the spiritual aspect it's it's basically opposite so anything that is said that oh god that doesn't even sound believable believe it because there's so much out there and i got some videos that are going to be coming up and i'm going to be more live on the videos instead of uh, just the podcast style, so I will be more live on them as well. Just bear with me. I'm
I'm not on camera right now because I'm having some dental work done and I don't feel comfortable being on camera. So give me a couple weeks <laughs> and my dental work will be done and I'll come on camera and this way you can see me full screen. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you find a direction. And if anybody would like a, a personal reading or to have a group party, I do provide uh, individual readings and party readings. And I can do group parties via video, okay, where I just take each person individual or we can do a whole group with a whole bunch of people on camera. You can check out my website at www.spiritualonlinecourses.org. I have some podcasts up there and a whole bunch of other stuff. I have some online courses coming on how to open your psychic abilities as well as a mediumship certificate course is coming next year, early next year. So thank you for watching. Give this a thumbs up and uh, share it and save it and show somebody that you think it'll help. Thank you. I will talk to you real soon. Namaste. Are you looking for guidance in your life? Are you trying to figure out what your next step is? Book a psychic reading with psychic medium and spiritual teacher Lisa Maria, who offers personal readings along with discounted home parties and events. Readings are available online or in person. For more information, visit www.lisamaria.com. That's www.lisamaria.com. Or you can contact Lisa directly at readingrequest at lifeyou.me. That is readingrequest at l-i-f-e-y-o-u dot m-e. Start changing your life today.